So I was out with the family today doing some shopping. It's Black Friday, and it's been a while since I've done an EDC update. And so I thought I'd show you guys what I what I took along today with uh, on our shopping adventures. Uh, first off, we have uh, the Victorinox Cadet, and this was riding in my front right pocket. And uh, if you guys have seen my EDCs in the past, you've seen that I pretty much always carry the Cadet, um, be just because it is just an easy knife to carry, really thin, really lightweight. And a uh, great little uh, uh, EDC knife that has lots of capability. So the first thing is front right pocket, and that's the Cadet. And then also, you know, where it's winter time, I've been finding that I in the winter time I use a flashlight more often just because the sun is going down um, earlier. And so I always carry a flashlight with me. In this case, I've been carrying the uh, Prion 2 by 4 7s. And uh, this is a sweet sweet uh, flashlight. Very, very capable. Uh, this one happens to be engraved by Nut and Fancy. But uh, let me run you through the, um, the modes real quick. We've got a low mode, which is a really, really awesome mode to be used in the car to like, preserve night vision, to help you read at night, things like that. The medium mode is really your best EDC brightness. I mean, it's just kind of a generally good brightness level. And then you have high, which is 160 looms. Now, you're not seeing this completely on camera because the, the camera's adjusting for it, but that is really, really, really bright. Now, if you cycle through the modes twice, you get a strobe, and then you get a high beacon, low beacon, and then you get an SOS. So, really, really nice. Uh, flashlight. Love it. So this is what I carry with me. Now in my coat pocket today I also had a uh, Streamlight Stylus Pro and that's just because that's what lives in, in that pocket of my coat. It never leaves. And so um, I did have two flashlights on me today. It's just kind of coincidental. So, uh, But anyway that is the Prion 2 by 4.7s. Now I did have my um, my paracord bracelet with my whistle on it as well today on my wrist. I had my wallet, which is just your standard bifold wallet, leather. Uh, has my uh, driver's license, my concealed carry permit, and professional licenses and things like that. Okay. My phone is the Motorola Droid X2. Love this phone, really, really good phone. Um, I don't even know what I ha what the heck I did without it. <laughs> I used to carry a BlackBerry, and this is so much further above a BlackBerry, it's not even funny. Now, uh, for larger cutting tasks and for defensive tactical EDC, I have the Cold Steel Recon 1. Now, I haven't had this blade for very long. It's been something I'm kind of new to, but uh, really, really liked it so far. It's got really grippy G10, OS 8A steel on the 4-inch on the blade. Um, kind of, It's an adjustable thumb stud right now. It's adjusted to right side. Uh, it's right side uh, down, right side or left side carry, uh, tip up only. It's got the triad lock on it, and man, awesome blade. The only couple, there's a couple downsides I've seen so far with this knife. One is that the G10 is so grippy that it's hard to, to extract it from the pocket because the pocket clip um, pushes against that G10. And so I'm going to have to probably mod that out a bit. And the other thing is, it is it's a little bit stiff to operate, and that is, it's harder to uh, deploy, and it's harder to... Um, fold just because of the axis or that not axis but the triad lock but for the most part I just got to keep practicing with it and I'll get a lot better but anyway that is the cold steel recon one awesome awesome blade now my main carry uh, today was the Glock 26 now I am really really falling in love with this pistol this thing is just awesome I love it uh, it's I you know I've carried the Glock 19 um, on and off and the the thing that's the thing about that Glock 19 is it's just a tad bit large. It's large enough that there is some inconvenience to it. Um, not enough to keep me from carrying it, carrying it. But I found that once I started carrying the 26, that those small little inconveniences have been overcome by the size of this pistol, and I don't feel like I've lost a, um, enough capability to justify uh, going back to the 19. So I think the 26 is going to be my carry gun of choice from now on. So um, I'm 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 digging this pistol big time. Now um, it is loaded. Let's see. I'll show you what it's loaded with. It's loaded with the 124 grain Spears Gold Dot Plus P. Now this is the short the short barreled version. So it's designed to come out of like a three and a half inch barrel like the like the Glock 26 has in it. And we do have one chambered right there. 
So we'll just keep it pointed in a safe direction and keep our finger off the trigger. So um, anyway, that's my concealed carry. I'm going to be doing a review on this uh, coming up here, uh, doing like a little size comparison and, and whatnot. So um, that's coming up. Okay. So also, I do carry a uh, separate magazine, okay, so an extra mag with 10 rounds of the Spears Gold Dot. And then if you guys have seen my, my EDC vids in the past, you've seen this, um, this pouch. This is my EDC pouch that pretty much goes with me everywhere. Uh, this is primarily what I consider my work EDC because everything that I take to work is, in, is right here except for maybe I'll throw in a, a, an extra blade or two. Um, but for the most part, this rides with me to work. Um, but I take it every day anyway. But uh, let me sh give you a little sneak peek of what's inside. Okay, we have the LCP. We have an extra magazine for the LCP underneath here. We have the um, Leatherman Squirt P PS4, the Prion 1 pen, paper, uh, first aid kit. We've got the SOG Aegis. Um, right on, on the outside is the Sandra and Move 710. We've got uh, a lighter in here, matches, extra batteries, duct tape, dental floss, uh, wet wipes, um, medication like uh, Tylenol, things like that, and uh, a bunch of other things. And I'm going to have to uh, do another updated video on this. I used to have paracord right here wrapped. I'm going to have to redo that because um, I've used it up. But uh, yeah, so this this carries with me as well. This stayed in the car today, but uh, but it was it was uh, with me so. And then uh, what I was carrying the Glock with was just a little um, leather out of the waistband holster with um, snap retention, and this is a Bianchi um, uh, Glock number five mag or uh, holster. Anyway, <laughs> and uh, anyway, just a real simple, simple holster, and I find that I can carry that with a carry the Glock 26 with a T-shirt on um, and that holster out of waistband real easy. So. Um, I couldn't quite do that with the Glock 19. I had to be wearing like a button-up shirt, but for the most part, uh, this this rides with a T-shirt um, if I wanted to as well. So that makes it a lot more convenient. But anyway, guys, um, hopefully you you had a great Black Friday and hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving, um, and that everyone stayed safe and you got all the deals that you wanted on your shopping. So <laughs> getting prepared for Christmas. So. Anyway, guys, uh, if you want to post a EDC video to this and show us your EDC, feel free to do that. I'll accept your videos, and also if you want to, or if you want to leave a comment, uh, please do so. And thank you very much for watching, and we will talk to you guys later. See ya.